Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know, I am. I'm back with another video. I could have sworn I did one yesterday. I think I did. Okay, let's get straight to it. What we're gonna talk about is um, essentially five levels of articulating the same series of notes. Uh, that's a bit of a posh way of saying just, you know, five different pattern picking patterns. And we're going to concentrate on the right hand here. So we're really aiming this at, um, you know, articulation with the right hand in terms of um, the, the pick strokes and, and whatever it is that we're doing um, to articulate the same line. Um, and the main focus of this is I want you to concentrate on the sound that each one creates because when we use a different picking pattern or a different way of artic articulating the same line, it creates a different sound. And what I've found in my experience, especially with teaching over the years, is uh, a lot of players are sort of, you know, preoccupied with technique more than the actual sound of what it is that they're playing. And uh, what it is that I want you to take away from this lesson is exactly that, that there's a lot more to technique. It's more to do with sound than anything else. So, I will stop babbling and let's get straight to the examples. Okay, we're gonna keep things nice and simple, so we're not gonna concentrate on playing as fast as we can. Uh, it's all about listening. Um, so, what we're gonna take is we're gonna take these series of notes. So we go D10, G12, B13, and then E10. Okay, so we're going to take those series of notes, one note per string and then back, and we're going to apply different picking pattern, five different picking patterns to it. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Logically, let's just start with alternate picking. Again, not worrying about speed or anything like that, we're concentrating on the sound that it creates. Okay, so that's our first pattern that we're going to use, alternate picking. The next is basically we're going to sweep it. Um, because there's only one, one note per string, um, we, we're really focusing on the sweeping movement um, when it comes to uh, you know economy players will be um, totally au fait with this. Um, but we're playing one note per string, so we literally play each string with the same stroke. However, we're gonna have to turn it around, so we're gonna have to look at um, how we're applying each stroke to each string. So, if that makes sense. So, this is how I play it anyway. For, uh, start with a down, 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 and then followed by up strokes. So, down, 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 up, up, up. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. Again, listen to the sound. Totally different to... Well, it's not totally different, but there's a, there's a certainly a noticeable difference. The alternate is down, up, down, up, down, up, continuously. And then sweeping. With this sweeping pattern as well, you can alter them. You don't have to keep it the same. You could do an upstroke at the top instead of a down, um, a downstroke. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. Oops, I'm so used to doing it the other way. Alternate. Sweep. So they do have completely different sounds. Um, well, like I said before, there's a noticeable difference, okay? So those are the first two picking methods. Um, let's move on to the third one. Now the third one, we're gonna incorporate hybrid picking here. So this is how we're gonna play it. Okay, now what on earth am I doing there? Simple enough, we're gonna take the middle finger of the ring hand, <laughs> the ring hand, we're gonna take the, <laughs> the, the middle finger of the right hand, okay, and we're gonna alternate down, middle, down, middle, okay, when we ascend, down, middle, down, middle, 
and then we're just going to repeat exactly what we play but descending which is down middle so this is a bit awkward so we have to move the right hand a little bit in order to negotiate that change here so down middle down middle down middle again concentrate on the sound that it creates uh, it's a little bit awkward, especially if you're not used to hybrid picking, but you hybrid monsters out there should be pretty comfortable with it. Great sound, great sound. I, I really love the sound of it. I also love the feel of it, how it feels to play, and we also have to take that into consideration. Okay, now we have uh, number four, which is, again, move it up so you can see the right hand. Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm incorporating the ring finger uh, in, with the right hand. So I'm going down, down, middle, ring, middle, upstroke. So if you can see the right hand there, whoops. Okay, that's number four. And then finally, what we're going to do is not pick any of the notes at all. We're going to hammer on from nowhere. So we're just going to take the left hand. So we're going to go. Oops. We've got to get, make sure you're muting is spot on here. So again, that's got a completely different sound. Okay, so we've got five different ways of articulating exactly the same series of notes and five different sounds with each, each method. Um, and uh, one, of the re one of the main things that I want, like I said initially, one of the main things I want you to take away from this is um, hopefully you'll be able to sort of concentrate your ear more onto what you're playing rather than just be completely focused on technique and and getting the control of the technique. We still, we have to, you know, in fact, I would rather have less technique, but more awareness of, of you know, the sounds that I'm creating, to be honest. Uh, I know I'm obsessed with technique. Most guitarists want to be better players. Of course, that's just the way that it is. But, um, you know, I think it's very, very important that we, we you know, use our ears more and, and really dial into the, the sounds that we're creating with every single thing that we play. And I'm talking about everything. So you have to make a conscious decision of, of, of uh, the sounds that you like and then sort of gravitate towards those. So if you're an economy picker and that, it's got a specific rhythmic snap to it. I mean, I'm flacking the strings a bit. Whereas the sweep, you can get a lot more speed with the sweep, but it's less, uh, what's the word? Um, it's not as rhythmically solid, I think. It's uh, to do with the pitch strokes. Um, but each one's got a different sound. I love this one. That, that hybrid picking down, middle, down, middle. Uh, this one's a lot more challenging. Sorry. Remember that upstroke so we can turn the pattern around. Down, down, down. Sorry, down, down, middle, ring, middle, up. Okay, so I just wanted to give you some food for thought here. Um, and um, try not to concentrate on too much on technique. Of course we have to do it. You know, we want to be better players technically, of course. Uh, so, you know, generally it allows us, you know, a little bit more self-expression. Um, uh, well, it does for me, I'm talking about myself. I can't account for anybody else, but um, like I said before, this is about the sounds that we, we create. So just try and open your ears to, to different sounds, try different techniques, and like I said before, gravitate to the ones that you like the sound of. You know, it's all about your personal preferences here. I mean, why play in a way that, you know, that you don't like the sound, but you're concentrating on, on the technique? You know, it doesn't make any sense that. So um, that's essentially 
wraps up today's lesson. I hope you've got a lot from it. Um, as always, make sure you check out my website, tons of downloadable content there, and it's a great way to support what I do. Anyway, I will catch up with you guys in the next video.